Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder the burden? No. I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change him? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me? Is anyone here? Hello?
Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. I just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the Sodom, is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below, newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our Lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city? Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the dead! What do you want? We had a deal to wait. Open this door right now! I told you, I'm not gonna do it. Go away. Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. To Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might... Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware Paragon with flaming sword a rebel and wings against of angels, ignorance and tyranny. By the sword and, and the scroll and, and the key. key. Amen. There is no chance, no luck, only providence. And that you know, just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, so got a girl to find.
I know, Mr. Watsonville. I've never had any oysters. <laughs> I bet we could have <laughs> some things. Mr. Watsonville, terrible. It's damned inconvenient when buildings don't dock on time. Yesterday I had to take a gondola, rubbing elbows with all sorts. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen. Statue. I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute like does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. Saltonstall's all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater. For God's sake, even the marigolds are still. Running. And then the archangel showed a vision: a city lighter than air. I asked her, "Why do you show this to me, archangel?" I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? It's Latin. It means... Latin. <laughs> Good day, citizen. You're looking fit. event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. Can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. Columbia Raffle and Fair. Huh. He's strong in 
in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the Girls' Patriotic League. Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Vox Popular, now do I? Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutex.
My good day to you, sir. Hello. Here, pal. Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. We're up block. Better find another way around. One swing and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know yes, man. You know Money. <laughs> to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are biggers I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the bigger? One swing and feats of wonderment are at the tip. You know our prophet is fair, you know our prophet is kind, and he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophets, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are biggers I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy... Young sir, the... young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of bucking, Bronco. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> <laughs>
in science and wonder we've seen in our life. Hot dogs! Hot dogs! Alexander Hot Dogs! Columbia's finest! Worth every cent! Box of phones! Box of phones! Hear your voice from the past in the present! Say something, Sonny! What's a box of phone? What's a box of phone? Exactly that! A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Have you sampled any of the new vigors here today? I usually wait till Fink works out the kinks, but it's safer. down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the Vox when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. A natural gunslinger. Well done, sir. Sailor, what port do you call home? An port in a storm? You know what I mean? Let me through. 
heads. Or tails. <laughs> heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. I hear that Father Franklin machines will be taking in new stock soon. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. If we're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system, uh, we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. You got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox go. <laughs> It's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you are allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Waited all year for this. A 
has officially begun! Mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Well, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! First throw, first throw! Please, please don't do this! It was me, it was all me, please! Please! Please, what are you doing? Come on, are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we've got to do got something, something about that. You, son of a bitch. Wait! <laughs> it's him! <laughs> now, where'd you get that brand, boy? <laughs> Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false shepherd! And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show him what we got planned, boys! I told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose.
what's going on. Sample. 